Hi there everyone my name is Pritam Negi and in this video we will see how we can take a backup of our WordPress website and can restore it back. So for that actually I have created the use case scenario. Here we can see uh, this particular WordPress is being hosted in localhost and it is fresh installation. Nothing is being installed in this one and this is another WordPress website as you can see here is being hosted in this IP. Now uh, what I will do in order to have a backup, I will log into its WordPress dashboard. After I log in, what I will do is I will install a plugin. So for that, uh, we will be going to plugins. And then I will click here on add new. Then here I need to search for off draft. And here we can see uh, this plugin. I have already installed it. If you haven't, then in your particular case, it will show this option of install now. Now here we can see it was showing me an update message and I successfully updated it. Now I will be going back here on dashboard and then here on updraft. Now uh, what we are going to do is we are going to connect our remote storage uh, with updraft. So for example here I have connected my Google Drive. Connecting the drive is pretty easy. Just you require to select whichever is your preferred service. For example, in my case, it's Google Drive. After selecting the desired service, you need to click on save changes. As soon as you're going to click on it, it will ask for the Google sign in and access so that it can upload the backup to the Google Drive. Now I'm going to click back on uh, backup and restore. And then from here, I will be clicking on backup now. Now here we need to select these options. If you want your backup to be deleted manually, then you can check this one as well. So let's check this one as well. Now click on backup now. Now here we can see it, it has started uploading file to the remote storage. And for my particular case, it didn't take long. Now here we can see we have a backup of May 2021. Now after my backup is ready, I will go back to my local host. It could be your live WordPress website. But in this particular case, I have taken this local host WordPress but it will work with anyone. So we are going to repeat some of steps again like installing of this WordPress plugin which is Updraft Plus so that we can restore the backup. And now you can see here we have successfully installed and activate this plugin. Now let's go to setting and then on update draft plus. Now again we will be clicking on settings and let's click on Google Drive and again we need to connect with the same account so that we can also see our remote backup in this so we will be clicking on setting and then select Google Drive then click on save change now uh, we need to click on follow this link we will link the same Google account after that we need to click on rescan remote storage And here we go. We can see uh, both of our backup. Now click on the latest created backup or whichever you want to restore. Again, now I will be clicking on restore and I will select all these options. And it has started downloading the backup from remote location. So let's say you are uh, downloading it to your local host. So it may take some time depending on your internet speed. So now we can see here we have successfully downloaded it. After the download process got completed, we need to click here on restore. And now you can see everything got restored successfully. Now we can click on return to updraft configuration or you can follow this link to download the log file for this restoration.
This time we need to enter the username of this website instead of previous one. But we just want to see it how it looks. So I'm not going to log it in and let me just check it whether they are same or not. So let me just log out from this website which is being hosted in this IP. And now let's have a look. I'm just going to snap it on my right side the original one and on my left side is the restored one. So here we can see both the website looks exactly same. So that's all guys from my side in this video. I hope this video might help you to learn how we can restore our WordPress website. If yes then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and I will see you soon in my next video till then bye bye.